If you own a Canon camera like this and you are not using it as a webcam in 2024, something is wrong, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through how to make this help you stand out on your video podcast, on your Zoom meetings, all that right now. Okay, let's go over some settings first. Number one, you don't need a card in the camera if you're gonna be using it as your everyday kind of webcam, which is fantastic. You could also see that it is on a manual setting. We wanna be able to do that to adjust our uh, shutter speed there. We have our f-stop and then the ISO. Now, obviously the resolution on Zoom isn't gonna be 4K, but I always like to give it a shot. You could always move it down to full high def at 20, 30 frames per second. Okay, this is my Canon EOS R that we're gonna be using as an example. As you can see in the top left, it is in manual mode. There's not a card in the camera. I don't need a card in the camera if we're gonna be using it as a normal webcam. I have my settings down there. I have uh, 150th on the shutter speed and then 2.8 on the f-stop and ISO. So you want it on manual number one to make those adjustments, but uh, yeah, there you go. So. Uh, autofocus is on face. I have full HD on 30 frames per second. You could obviously go to 4K if you really wanted to. Is it gonna really make a huge difference on Zoom? Not necessarily. And then your normal preferred settings. You don't need anything special for what we're gonna do. Now, one thing I do have is eco mode is off. That's because I put a dummy battery in here. So this camera is powered by AC power, obviously not at the moment, uh, but we don't want power saving on just to avoid any interruptions in many meetings or podcasting we may have. All right, now let's move to the things you need. First thing you'll need is this small Elgato cam link. It is $91, it fits in the palm of my hand. I've never had any issues with it whatsoever. It has a USB connection right there, and, and on this backside, it has a connection for an HDMI. Uh, in basically any case with a Canon, you'll need an HDMI. This is called Type A connection, and that's what you got. So that's part one. Next thing you're gonna have to do is determine the HDMI connection on the camera itself. So this HDMI out right here signifies this is actually for a mini, and that is a Type C. So we need an HDMI cable that's Type A to Type C. I'll show you what that looks like. So here is my HDMI cable. It's pretty long on purpose. I have my HDMI Type A connection piece, and then I have here the mini HDMI, that's Type C. So this is gonna go right into the camera. Now, one thing I didn't mention is the prices. The cam link is $91 on Amazon. I, maybe I did mention that, but that is $91. The HDMI cable is probably $11 on Amazon. Again, we'll put the links below. So we have to plug in the, the HDMI into the cam link. So the HDMI A, HDMI A, here we go. That's plugged in. Now I'm going to plug this into a USB port for my computer and we are set. One other thing I did forget to mention when you're plugging it is, is you will know it's working if it lights up. And there you got the little soft white light and it's blinking, okay? So two items we're talking about, about $100. And if you have a pre-existing camera, it's literally, that's all it's gonna cost you to level up dramatically. So let's take a look. All right, again, no card in camera. I did connect a AC powered battery. I'm gonna flip this screen out because I always wanna be able to see what's on that screen, not only just the computer. Okay, so there I am looking nice and fresh, uh, but we go here to video and it is says, it will say Cam Link 4K. When you actually initialize and download the software for uh, the Cam Link, uh, it might, this might show up, Elgato Virtual Camera. It's a really easy setup, but all you gotta do is make sure you have that camera selected. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Obviously the quality looks fantastic. Uh, I know I'm blown out in the back and I don't have shades or anything like that, but it is that simple. Now, obviously in the next video, we'll cover how to get this thing to be your Zoom mic or your podcast mic. But the reason this came up is because I want to get back into podcasting and I love to do in-person interviews. And one of my mentors was like, look, you know that could take a while. And I know that, but he's like, take some virtual. And I'm like, well, the reason I am reluctant to do virtual is because I don't want my quality to look great and the person on the other side look ridiculous. So whether you're a host or you're a guest, or you just wanna wow someone with the quality and show that you're dialed in and you take your appearance or the quality of your appearance seriously uh, for virtual meetings or podcasts, this is gonna help significantly. 
So if I left anything out or you have any questions, definitely leave them in the, in the comments. Uh, obviously, we'll make sure that we leave uh, some links down below. They are going to be Amazon affiliate links. So yeah, I get a tiny commission if you get anything. Otherwise, it's 101 bucks if you have an existing camera. You just need the right HDMI cable and Elgato. This is, a, we're talking if you have a Canon and then you will be on your way to looking like this.